Hello and welcome to today's video and uh, this is a bit of a different one because um, we're just going to have a look at a couple of features of Substance Painter uh, that are new in the 7.3 release. So uh, I mean there's a few things that are new uh, but the the main ones is there's two new projection modes one is warp uh, which is amazing and the other is uh, cylindrical uh, and there's been a change to the colour picker uh, which at the moment I'm not getting on with but yeah we'll get to that so first of all uh, the warp so what we can now do is uh, if I go to my textures directory here is I can drag and drop anything from my textures uh, folder just straight onto a model and when I drop it it will ask me what channel to put it in uh, this is a normal map so I'm going to put it into the normal and then it will drop onto the uh, onto the model uh, and then we can manipulate it so I can move it around I can do all sorts of bits and bobs uh, but that's not the fun thing uh, the fun thing is we can now transform it uh, with a warp grid so we can grab all these points and move them around to you know change the shape and get what we want and if there aren't enough points then we can add them uh, so under the uh, transform uh, options up here we can split walk crosswise so crosswise will do it up and down so I can pop one there and if I repeat that I can pop one down there and now I've doubled my grid and we can go back to our uh, edit vertices and just grab a vertex and move it around you don't have to select it like I just did uh, that was me <laughs> being a bit of a lummox uh, so you know I'm not getting anything out of this that's useful but I just wanted to show you you know kind of how it works and and you can add as much as you like um, we can also go horizontal and this is quite useful because you know if there's a particular part you want to transform you can move around until your line goes to that part and so I want to make that handle bit a little bit bigger uh, or even a little bit smaller or even just a different shape entirely then I can do that which is perfect um, but it doesn't just work for uh, normal maps it works for everything uh, well everything in textures at least uh, and also the alphas so for example uh, I can grab a texture uh, let's grab this one just drag and drop it on there uh, I can put it into any channel I want uh, let's put it in base color and I can move it around uh, it's not just moving around uh, if I use these modes up here so I've got a translate I've got a rotate and a scale I can rotate the whole thing uh, or I can scale the whole thing you know or I can scale it in a particular direction so if I just wanted to go in that direction then I could do so so once I had it arranged I can go to my transform again and edit the vertices and I can change it to whatever kind of shape I like by manipulating the vertices adding extra splits and you know generally doing what you wanted to uh, let's rotate this back because that rotation is bugging me slightly ah I need to be in the transform warp to do a, a full rotate because that's um, you know on the whole rather than the edit vertices if I click on a vertice with uh, rotate on I can rotate it yep so that can give you some uh, interesting effects as well so yes I, I would think that's a, a brilliant little there uh, little addition I say little it probably took a whole load of programming uh, let me just move that out of the way that you can't see <laughs> that's just the recording bar uh, so yes anything you like to drag it on pick your channel and there you are you can manipulate it you can move it you can warp it you can change the shape um, let me just delete that one out so I just want to show you in the alphas you can do that as well and you know if we pick a, uh, a suitable thing here let's take this sponge uh, I'm gonna drop this into a mask instead so dropping it into a mask just puts it on the surface but it's in the mask channels 
And now if I update my material, we'll be able to see it. Or I could switch to the, um, the, the mask view. Uh, let's make it a little bit taller. There we go. And now if I select on the actual layer within the mask, I can transform. So I can edit vertices, I can, you know, crush it up. Uh, I can, you know, basically make it whatever shape I like, which adds a whole new level of, you know, usefulness to Substance Painter. Um, you know, all of these, you know, resources and such like that we've got previously, you haven't been able to change them very much. You know, you could put them on there, you could rotate them, you could, you know, scale them. Uh, but now you can actually change them and you know there's nothing like having the ability to change something to give your work a uh, slightly more unique uh, look than somebody else who's using exactly the same kind of resources okay so let's get rid of that and i'm just going to create a fill layer now and in this fill i'm going to throw in a texture uh, let's pick someone that's going to look obvious. Let's pick this one. Okay, so if I drop that in there, uh, we have a number of options up here. So there's UV projection, which is the kind of default. Uh, there's the triplanar projection, which projects it from you know each side of the model, and uh, we've got our planar and spherical. And at the bottom here, we have our cylindrical uh, and our new warp. So if I go into the warp, we'll see that it's there. Whoops, just need to click on the transform button and I can pull it out and project it, you know, over a large, a larger area. And we can still go to edit the vertices and move those around. Although it's not stuck to the surface, so I'm not entirely sure how I'm actually going to change that. Uh, but that's an option there. But we also have, and this is the other new projection mode, is the cylindrical projection. So previously we haven't had one of these. So the cylindrical projection basically wraps your texture in a, around a cylinder and then projects it inwards. And if I go to the manipulators up here and rotate this, for example, I can rotate it so the cylinder is projecting uh, horizontally and I can move it around and you'll get a different projection kind of type. Uh, we've had spherical previously uh, which kind of wraps it into a ball and projects it inwards uh, but the cylindrical is a new uh, a new feature uh, which you know if you're doing a long you know, object uh, it's perfect and you know has really been kind of missing uh, until now okay so that's the warp and the um, the cylindrical uh, options uh, the other new thing uh, which has foxed me a little bit uh, is the color picker so the color picker has been updated and if I click on here we'll see so first of all um, it looks a little different you know we still have the same kind of uh, you know selection uh, options uh, but it seems a little bit more how can I put it um, simplified and I can change my hue if I go up and down here uh, I've got my hue saturation and uh, vibrancy down here that's terrific uh, one of the new things, whoops, I've clicked a button and I didn't mean to, sorry about that. Uh, come on, where's my channels? I managed to turn them all off. What's going on? Have I closed it? What a foolish human being I am. Uh, let's close that and I'll just do a fill layer and try not to press the wrong button on my mouse this time. Uh, so, now once I've got a uh, a colour I want and I, I perhaps want to use it in other areas uh, I can add a swatch now and uh, we couldn't do that earlier that's really 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 useful because I spent a long time sort of copying hex values 
and then you know pasting them back up into another color picker on a different layer uh, but now once that's there that's there so we can start kind of defining a range of colors for our project and then you know we've got a palette that we can use for you know other areas which is terrific i'm really 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 pleased about that the only thing that i don't really get on with is the fact that i now have to click this little button to uh, close it because previously i just clicked off you know off the interface and it disappeared and now you know i have to click this so i'm going to get used to it i'm, I'm moaning now because i'm an old man and i don't like to change um yeah you know my fingers and my brain will get used to it but at the moment you know <laughs> i've spent a lot of time thinking why isn't this going away oh well that's old age for you okay so that was a few things we've got the new warp brush or the the warp projection we've got the cylindrical projection uh, and we've got a new color palette and you know they're terrific so uh yeah i hope you like that that's what's new in 7.3 and I'll talk to you in another video.